What are we doing back up near 150? Well, good morning. Thank you uh, for having me on your show. Look, I think there's a couple of things that are going on. One of them is very technical. One of the reasons why yields were so low was because the Treasury general account had been drawn down so much. Now, that's really technical speak for saying that there wasn't a lot of net issuance of U.S. Treasuries over the last couple of months. In fact, nearly zero net issuance. Today, all of that is starting to change. A lot of things are changing right now that are leading to higher yields. Number one, now we're going to start to get net positive supply. So more positive net supply is coming to the markets. That and the fact that we're getting closer to uh, a, a deal on the deficit. Then the question becomes, is it going to be um, I'm sorry, a deal on the infrastructure bill. And the question then becomes, is it going to be deficit financed? So that's another uh, argument for higher debt into the future. The third point is tapering. The Fed has announced pretty aggressively, it seems like in, uh, at the September FOMC last week, that probably by December, they're going to start tapering. So all of the factors that were keeping yields lower in the second quarter and for part of the third quarter are now starting to run in reverse, and you're seeing yields yields start to move higher, not to mention that energy prices are moving up, and even some of the COVID cases are, are, are on the decline, we could be setting ourselves up for a much stronger, much awaited for fourth quarter. And all of this is, is pushing Treasury yields higher. And it makes sense. Yeah. Jim Carrion, when you're on the Gorman Golf Stream, you're flying at 32,000 feet and you're looking down in the yield market, what is the 10-year yield where you signal shift or you signal trip point? We're at a 147, maybe 150, but what's the level where you go, things have changed? I think we're past that. I think it's around 140. The fact that we've uh, gotten back above 140 is telling us that the correction lower in yields is over with. We have to start thinking about yields progressing up back towards the March 31 highs, around 175, even up to 1.8%. And it's even possible that you could start to even test 2% by end of this year, beginning of next year. I think it would be hard to get above 2% and stay there, but I think that's a trajectory that we're on. And the fact that many people have squared up most of their positions, I would say the market's not overly short. So the technicals are, are suggesting that you could actually get a push higher. So Tom, I think that we've already tripped that switch and that mm -hmm. we're already in the mode to get towards higher yields, plus all the supply that's coming.